and welcome once again to Stuff and Things Plays. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today we are playing a little game called Cuphead. Now, this is a game that has been whispered about, or not even whispered about, shouted about for years and years and years now. It's by Studio MDHR. MDHR? I think so. And it is a game that is made in the style of these crazy 1930s cartoons, like Max Fleischer. Fleischer? Fleischer, I think. Um, like the Betty Boop, early Popeye cartoons. And it was shown at E3 like years ago. It just looked crazy, amazing art style and everything. And people have been waiting for this game forever and ever and ever. And it's finally out now on Xbox One and PC. I am playing on PC. And it wasn't even a game that I intended to stream, but, you know, everyone and their monkey is streaming it right now on YouTube, and I figured I might as well throw my hat, my hat into the ring. It is supposedly extremely difficult. I just played a tiny little bit just to test my capture and my audio levels and everything, so I'm going to be going into most of this fresh. I've seen some preview stuff, some of the bosses. So... The style of this game is kind of a run and gunner, sort of like Contra, like early Contra games or Mega Man. And it's mostly like a boss rush kind of thing where you're just fighting these bosses with multiple uh, multiple forms, multiple stages to the boss fight. And then there are also some kind of platforming levels. It's an independent studio that Microsoft sort of took under their wing. And I think they helped with funding and everything and helped with the development of the game. But it's just, it's mostly these two Canadian brothers who decided they wanted to make a game like this. And what's really exciting about this to me is just this art style. I mean, look at this. This looks ridiculous. It should, I guess technically be in black and white if it's trying to replicate cartoons from the 30s but maybe we'll see as i edit this maybe i'll actually put a sequence into black and white and we can see how that looks but let's jump into this game we'll talk about it more as we go we're going to start so you can see i have one uh save file where there's zero percent so i didn't do anything really but i want to start a new file so you can see the opening it has an interesting little story so let's take a look at that <clears throat> this should be fun I need to start my timer. Cuphead, don't deal with the devil. The Modenhauer brothers, I think. So that's where MDHR comes from. Once upon a time in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there, lived, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mag Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the Cat Craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. <laughs> nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours. <coughs> <coughs> the devil's voice is going to make me cough. The devil boom, but if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal. Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Look at this, look at this art style, it's fucking ridiculous. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, <laughs> about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Y yes please, Mr. Cuphead added. My voices are just running into each other. It's fine. Hmm, perhaps there is. The devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me and I just might pardon you two bugs. Now get going! The devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. Again, my voice is all fucked up, but it's fine. He'll know what to do. All right. Interesting little storybook there. Don't deal with the devil, kids. Some advice from the creators of Cuphead. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, 
I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. I'll give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now, go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. All right, now just look at this. Every single frame of animation in this game is hand-drawn the old-fashioned way, using a light table and a pen and paper, or pencil and paper. It was all traditionally hand-animated, and that's what took the game so freaking long to be developed. And I think they tried originally, they did the character design and stuff, and then they were going to try to do, like, digital animation, but it just didn't look right. And so they did every single frame of animation by hand in the traditional style. That's why this game looks so amazing. And then it's ostensibly 60 frames a second. We'll see if my com computer can keep up with that. It's pretty old by now. But they, uh, inter uh, they... What, is, what do you call that? In, interpolated? They interpolated the frames to look like 24 frames a second, to look like, you know, a film instead of 60, but it still plays at 60, if that makes any sense. So let's do the tutorial really quick. This was famously, uh, was it uh, Venture Beat? A Venture Beat reporter was trying to do this, doing gameplay, and could not get past the tutorial for like 10 minutes. But here we go. It's a run and gunner. You're shooting with the X button here. It's kind of weird controls. And you can hold down to duck, crouch, you can shoot while crouching, jump, one short tap for a short jump, long tap for a longer jump, and then there's a dash, so you can jump up and dash, hold down, press A, descend, shoot, just hold the X button for rapid fire, you don't have to keep pressing it. It's like a turbo button on an old end, uh, Super Nintendo controller, Wave Bird or something, I guess for N64. Uh, lock, so you can hit the right bumper and you won't move, but you can just aim in every direction. So that's cool. I guess I should sort of stand near where I need to be. Hit this target. And then, okay, so then the parry. So if you press the jump button again in midair, you will parry these pink things. Like so. And then, oh, and if you are playing co-op with a friend, if they die, you can parry their ghost and they'll be brought back to life. So there you go. Um, I'm going to use the D-pad while I'm playing here because it seems like the movement's a little more immediate and the stick just seems like there's too much lag as I'm using it. And uh, EX move, okay, so that's when you... There's these little cards on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. You can see the HP says 3, and then I have four cards listed there. I guess you build these cards up as you fight enemies, and I think maybe when you parry, I'm not totally sure, but then you can do like a more powerful attack. Bam, with the B button, and use up all your cards. And then they build up again as you're fighting and playing. And then coins, I guess you can purchase upgrades or something. But there you go, that's the tutorial. Let's jump in. It's supposedly this game is super, super hard and I'm not amazing at video games as we all know. So this might be horrible. Um, I'm probably not gonna edit too much. You can watch me struggle over and over again as I try to do these levels, but we'll see. If it looks like it's gonna be horribly repetitive and boring, we'll figure that out. All right, here we go. Just look at this game. It looks so cool. I think we definitely will do a level in black and white, maybe. I'll just change that when I'm editing. I heard rumors that if you beat the game, you can unlock like a black and white filter or something as you play. All right, let's talk to this dude. <clears throat> Hey, fellas, looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Ooh, three gold coins. Excellent. So there's a shop here where we can spend coins. I don't know if I want to do that yet. So we've got some options. So it's like a little overworld, kind of Super Mario 3-ish. So what's this? Botanic Panic. Okay, so I think I've seen this boss. Some vegetables. I don't want to do that yet. This is I. This is just a platforming level, I think, or a running gun gun level. Forest Follies, running gun. And look, it even says Studio MDHR Corporation, copyright 1930. So that's exactly the aesthetic that they're going for here. All right, first level. Let's see how badly I do here. It's gonna get crazy, gang. It's on. 
And if my frame rate starts suffering, I don't know what I'm gonna do, because I'm sure in this game you're gonna need to have perfect frames. Ah, okay. So I'm basically controlling a frickin' car cartoon, and that's fucking awesome. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Coming from all sides. So this is basically Contra right now, but with an amazing art style. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Oh, boy. And that's what I was saying. Maybe I said it, maybe I didn't, I can't remember. I never loved the Contra games, so I don't know if I'm gonna absolutely love this game, but just the art style alone makes it so cool. I'm gonna try to parry this. I did it. Ah. Uh. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to talk while playing this because it definitely requires your attention. Let's try to parry this too. Yay. Uh, there's just so much going on on the screen at once. And shit biscuits. So far, not bad. I wanna kill this little blue bastard. There we go. Oh shit, see, I fucked that up. That coin. Everybody go to hell! <laughs> there are going to be lots of- Oh, what, 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 what? That fucking pisses me off. I swear I was getting in the hitbox there. Okay, dash. Ah! Ah! Fucking ass! Shit on a stick with a brick. No, 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 no! Those little fucking mushrooms will not stand up so I can smack them. Oh, look, I had full cards, though, too. I need to pay attention to that, and I have to use my specials. And begin. Right, let's try that again. This is going to be Venture Beat all over again. I think it was Dean Takahashi was the reporter who was horrible at this game. This might be Dean Takahashi part two here. Yo! 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 Fuck you. Fuck you. And you. Don't want to be uh, stingy with the fuckers. Everybody gets fucked. Holy hell, there's just so much going on. It's hard to figure out. Oh, I didn't parry. There we go. I want to get those parries in. I think that helps your score at the end. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Ah. There we go. You can shoot down when you're jumping. Yeah. Shit on a stick. No, don't you do it! So I don't know if this commentary is going to be all that interesting to you guys, because it's just going to be me yell- Oh, fuck, I didn't parry it properly. Fuck you. Mm. Oh, no, fire. Oh, you little blue bastard. All right, I have to pay more attention to what I'm doing here, gang. This is not working out. I can't hit this fucker. Okay. You will die. Hurry up and die. No, I jumped down. I didn't mean to do that. That works, I guess. Okay, I got you. Got you. More acorns. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, if you're just a little bit offline. All right, we'll do this one more time. If I don't succeed, we might edit, and then I'll let you know how many, how many uh, tries it took for me to do this. All right, I was actually using a stick that time. That wasn't a good idea. Yeah, you gotta be lined up perfectly with these dudes that are coming from up above. Oh boy. I have to get my old kind of atrophied platforming skills back. I wasn't bad as a kid, but you don't really play these quick twitch kind of platformers anymore for running gunners. It's not very common. I gotta get that parry. Parry's important, people. There it is. All right, we gotta get in the zone here. Come on, baby. Oh, no, no, no. Parry it. There it is. Come here, bastard. Ah, fire. Fire seeds. Ay, ay, capale. What does that mean? I don't know. It means something. It means I'm angry. Let's just keep going here. Fuck you. Oh, I missed the, I missed the coin. I can't get the coin now? Shit. I wonder if that thing will be back if I go off screen. But I don't want to go off screen because there's too much shit going on. Oh, man. Okay, let me try to go back. Kill you. Kill you. Shit, I can't fucking get the coin. Oh, that's going to make me angry. All right. Well, we missed the coin. I'll have to come back and play this level again. Dash. Ah! Kill you. 
kill you. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Holy hell, there's so much going on here. I'm probably shouting into the microphone. I apologize for that. Okay, here's this bastard. Fuck him. Fuck him. That's the special attack. Okay, we killed the acorn maker. That's good. <laughs> Holy hell. Okay, this dude's gonna wake up. Gotta kill him. Gotta kill him. All right. Ah! Fuck. 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 I'm trying to dash through these assholes. Oh, wow. Okay, I missed that coin, though. I need that coin. Shit. Shit, how do I get that coin without dying? I've got two HP. You go, you go. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now I can dash. I think I can dash past here. Is that it? Hey, look at that. Was that third try or fourth try? I wasn't keeping track. We're not going to do super long episodes on this. Okay, so you get a score at the end. Time bonus. No, not great. Parry, good. Gold coins, not great. What I get? B plus? I'll take a B plus. I might try to come back to all these levels and, you know, get a grade A on all of them. Look at this! The aesthetic of this game is so cool. Okay, here we go. Oh, legs falling asleep here. Let's move it. Okay, so we have a bridge to a new area. We do have a shop, maybe we should check that out. And then we've got the botanic panic there. Uh, let's wander around a little bit more. Oh, is this another boss? Ruse of an ooze? I'm not sure if I've seen that one or not. I've watched some preview stuff, but I tried not to watch too much because I didn't want it to be ruined for me. Okay, this is another run and gun level, treetop trouble. I just want to wander around the map and see if there are any secrets for me to discover here. It just looks so cool. Who's this guy? What are you looking at? My chip? Ah! Oh, it's an axe. Okay. It's not my fault I've been busy fighting off those casino debtors. Now I gotta save up to have my blade fixed. So help me. I wish someone would bust that king dice one. Oh. So help me, I wish someone would bust that king dice one. Okay. So this looks like another boss. Floral Fury. Cagney Carnation. All right, let's go back. I think we're gonna get in a little over our heads if we wander over here. So let's go back to the shop, I guess, and see if there are any upgrades that we wanna purchase. I don't know if we're gonna take on another boss in this level or not. We'll see. Pork Rinds and Pouring. Scratch my nose. <laughs> Look at this, so cool. Uh, okay. Chaser. Chaos Orbit. Long range with below average damage, no aiming required. So I guess you have different weapon upgrades. An extra hit point. Adds an additional hit point, but lightly weakens your attack power. Spread. Eight-way spread shot. Short range with great damage. It can keep you close to your... If you can keep close to your target. Smoke Bomb. You will not take damage during a dash. Can you dash when you're on the ground? I haven't tried that. Roundabout, Jumbo Rebound, great coverage with average damage, aim backward for maximum range. It seems pretty obvious that you would want the heart container right away. I'm thinking of Zelda right now, heart container. Um, but I don't know how much it decreases your damage. Let's do it. All right, and I'm gonna hold off. Okay, so you get other stuff too, sugar. Automatic parry, the first parry moves automatic. All you need to do is jump. So I still have five left. How much was the spread? That's four. I'm gonna hold off on any more of these for now. Goodbye, pork rind. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I can do the pig thing. We've got to equip those new purchases. No, wait a minute. What kind of voice should pork rind have? Pork rind have. We've got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip guide, you bums. Uh, y is the menu. So here's our shots. We just have the pea shooter for now. Slot B. Okay, so that's a different kind of shot. All right, super. I don't know what that is. Charm. So we have to equip this. Okay. Excellent. And this is a list of, I guess these are the soul contracts we need to collect in this world. All right. So, should we try a boss? What have we been doing, like 17 minutes, 18 minutes? All right, we'll try a boss. 
So this is one I've seen on previews before, Botanic Panic. Um, might be hard, might not. The whole game's gonna be pretty goddamn hard, but we'll see. Here we go. My hands are cold. Fucking big potato. Giant potato. Giant ass potato. Oh, I can't. Okay, so if that's pink, I think I can parry that, but it's on the ground, so I'm not sure exactly how that works. Fuck you, potato. Oh, they got a little faster there. So I gotta. Oh, I think I just wasted that EX shot or whatever the hell it was called. Oh! Onion boy. I think this dude cries. Bam! Bam! Okay, the teardrops will hurt you. Watching the tears. I want to build up my cards on the bottom. It gives me more meter. Okay, now there's a giant carrot. Fuck you. He's going to shoot things at me. There are carrots. So I actually have to aim at his... Oh, man, this is no good. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, you can dash on the ground. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah, I need to dash. Fuck! Okay. The homing carrots got me. I was really close to the end there, though. All right, let's retry that. We can do this. No problem. Pull your britches up, cuphead. Pull up them britches. Here we go. I should try to parry those worms, I guess they are. I did it! Ah, 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 that's too fast. Hey, yeah. Nope. Okay, got him, got him, got him. Now we've got Onion Boy. So far, the frame, frame rate's been okay. I was a little worried if I was doing capture and everything that I would have trouble with the frame rate. Even though my computer's like four years old now and I need a new graphics card, it claimed that I'd be able to run this game well. I'm just watching these raindrops here. Teardrops. Ah. Fuck you. There we go. All right, we've got good meter. Now I will kill you. Okay. Okay, kill the carrots. Kill the fucking carrots, man. There we go. Oh, he's ghost again. Yeah. Fuck yeah, kick, 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 yeah. Gotta kill him. Kill the carrots. Shit. Not getting the carrots in time. I got a dash in the air, man. Kill him. Kill him. God damn it. Not getting the carrots. Oh! Oh, look at how close I was. Oh, that makes me angry. Here we go again. I never said I was going to be good at this. In fact, I actually claimed that I was going to be bad, and I have lived up to that promise. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I want to parry. I need to parry. Ah, oh, see, I tried to parry and I fucked myself. I shouldn't have done that. All right, here we go. This little fucker. I'm going to save my meter for that stupid carrot. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know. I've got almost full meter now. Fucking... Ah! Uh. Let's build up another card here. Okay, now we got Carrot Boy. I've got four cards. That's good. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Now I'm not even hitting him. Kill the carrots! Shit. Shit! Fuck you, motherfucker. Gotta get rid of the carrots, god damn it! Oh, that's making me angry. One more try, gang. And then we might have to do a little editing. Aha! Parried successfully. Parried successfully. Ah, uh, that's way faster. Fuck you. There we go. All right, so far so good. Shooting him. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use my meter. Fuck it. Let's get out of here as quickly as possible. 
building up cards. I'm gonna save some for the Carrot Man. I guess I can parry those pink raindrops too. Teardrops, whatever. Whatever. Gotta get these carrots while I can. So I'm not dealing... Oh, why did I jump right into the fucking thing? I don't want to deal with the carrots while I'm trying to dodge his little psychic glass. I think that's a better method. Fuck, I jumped right into it again. Idiot. Special. No! No! I'm lean, mean, and full of beta carotene. A great slam is in, Now go! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Mm. There it is. Shouldn't have probably been as hard as it was. That was the first actual boss I think that you would normally come across. Let's see how I did here. Not great on hit points. Parry. Super good. Skill level. Oh, A minus. Not bad. I will take that. That is a high pass. All right, gang. Well, there you go. We have one run gun, run and gun level, one boss. This is Cuphead. I think this is really fun. Like I said, it's not really the style of gameplay that I would normally love. Okay, Soul Contract, the Root Pack. You got the Root Pack Soul Contract. Excellent. Um, but I think I'm gonna enjoy this game. The aesthetic is just so cool. The art style is amazing. Join me, won't you, for the next episode of Stuff and Things Plays Cuphead. But until then, tell me to get up and go from you guys. Something plays. I'll see you later.